Hey everybody, this is Taylor with the Prosperity Agency and today I'm bringing you a what I consider a very entertaining story. Um, as some of you may or may not know, I work out of my home and uh, this week something very peculiar happened to me and um, it was exciting because I got to watch the entire thing unfold before my very eyes. <laughs> so I'm sitting at home, I'm making phone calls and for those of you that don't know, my office is facing the street so I'm literally able to see and hear cars and people and dogs and things like that whenever I'm home, obviously. So I'm sitting here making dials and I noticed this gal going on her bike from house to house, stopping in at each of the houses, um, selling something. So I'm like, oh, great. This is gonna be an awesome research opportunity for me. So she goes to my neighbors right here and then she comes and stops at my house. So I'm in between calls and she knocks and I go to the front door, or rings or whatever. I go to the front door and I answer and you guys, this video is to share with you three things not to do if you are in door to door sales or any sales in general. Okay, whew, this lady. Okay, so I answered the door. Immediately, immediately I knew that she had read and memorized the manuscript. <laughs> the exact script that they taught her in school, in, you know, selling school. And she goes, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm here to chat with you today about, um, you know, about something that can help you. And I have been, you know, going around from house to house and every single stop, I am so excited to meet whoever this person is. I was just down the street over here with Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson invited me in and we had some of her famous cookies. And then Susie over here invited me in and told me that she was expecting her third baby. Cool, huh? And I, like my face, you guys, was like, I don't even know what it looked like. I'm sure I just looked absolutely petrified. So then she said, and um, okay, so she said, Mrs. Johnson, Susie, and then she said, Mrs. Smith. She goes, and then Mrs. Smith, you know, right, right, a couple houses down, she is the coolest grandma ever. And I'm like, oh my gosh, lady, are you serious? So she goes on to tell me this, and then she goes on to tell me that she has to stop at 30 houses a day, and she's really, you know, she's really needs my help, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. That was my first tip is, you know, first not thing not to do is to be very cheesy and non-genuine about it. She was super cheesy and super non-genuine about it. It just totally shut me off. I'm like, no. Okay, my second tip, um, she did not tell me what she was doing. Like she just kept talking about how she was going into places and telling me these stories about these people. And um, so finally I, I had to stop her and I just said, you know, hey, um, you know, what can I help you with? What, what do you need? And she goes, well, the reason that I'm stopping is because I am here to sell you some educational books. And I'm like, okay. I was like, oh, we're, you know, we have plenty of books. We're not interested. And she goes, you look like a mom. And I was like, what? I didn't say that, but I was like, what? I could not, I, I literally, like, I could not believe that she had said that. So obviously it's not a good thing or a bad thing or whatever if somebody like looks like a mom, but you never say something like that to somebody. Like, it's the same thing as like, you look like you're pregnant. Like, what? <laughs> That's not like, whatever. So anyways, that was like, wow, that was wow. So my tip number two is um, make sure that you get to the punchline very quickly um, so that you don't waste people's times. time. And um, so then I'm like, okay, um, Wow. So I look down and I look back up at her and I was like, we're not interested. And then I go to, you know, back up and close the door and she goes, wait, wait, wait. She's like, I'm really sorry if we started off on the wrong foot. Um, you know, I just, you know, her voice got quiet. You know, I just, I'm just trying to map out this neighborhood. You know, I'm not from here. I'm from a different country and I'm just really passionate about, you know, books. And I'm like, okay, that's good. That's awesome. And I was like, well, do you have any information or, you know, any cards or anything like that? And so I can talk it over with my husband and, and she goes, no, I just have the books that I'm going to sell you. <laughs> and I'm like, boy, oh boy. Um, I just, I, I literally was like, I, I'm not, 
I'm not going to buy any books today. And I just said, if you have a card, I could take that, you know, maybe call you later, whatever. And she goes, she goes, no, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't have anything. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. So that's my third tip is to have something to give to somebody. If it's your business card at the very least, if not a flyer or information with pricing on it, I mean, nothing, she had none of that. So, uh, yeah, so that was my, um, that was my last straw. So I started to back away, you know, started to like step back and, and, you know, kind of, um, retreat back into my, my home to make phone calls. And she goes, she goes, well, ma'am, let me ask you this. What is it? What do you do for a living? You know, you know, what are you, what do you do? You know, all this stuff. And I'm like, Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in sales. And she just kind of, you know, she just kind of smirked and she's like, she's like, me too. And I'm like, <laughs> like, I know <laughs> you just told me that. Oh my gosh. So finally I had to, I literally was like, okay, I, I literally, I have a conference call at this time and I like showed her my phone and I said in one minute, so I need to leave right now. And she goes, she goes, okay, well at least help me with, at least help me with mapping out, you know, this street who, you know, who lives where, who has kids. And I know who has kids and who does not have kids in this neighborhood. And I did not tell her any bit of information because I didn't want to. So she was like, Oh, so I said, I don't, I, I actually don't know. Um, you know, I, I pretty much stick to my own thing and I come in and out and pay attention to my own thing. And she goes, okay, well, what about this house over here? Like, do you notice anything? Are there any kids around? Like any, you know, any sort of activity happening? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure you can go, you know, obviously and stop by. She goes, what about this house kitty corner to you? Do you know anything about the, about the kitty corner house next, you know, across from you? And I'm like, no, I don't, I need to leave. And she goes, oh, okay, well, that's why, one, one last question. She goes like, she's like, what about the house right, right next to you? And I was like, I don't know. And then I was like, I need to leave. And she's like, okay, thank you for your time. Okay, bye. And I got in the house and I closed the door and I was like, I, I can't even believe that just happened. That was just absolutely bizarre. So, you know, I really think that there's a huge potential for people that are really good at what they do, regardless of like what industry, regardless of what you're selling. But I mean, wow, that lady just totally rubbed me the wrong way. My dog's trying to get in. And so with that, you can do so many right things and so many wrong things. So my dog wants to join us. Come on, dude. Fudge. All right, everybody, this is Arthur, my French bulldog. He's a big boy. He is a big boy. And he is a, oh my gosh, he's so um, needy. He's very needy, he's very bougie dog. Um, and apparently he wants to be on camera too. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Oh, he's also deaf, so he doesn't actually hear me when I talk to him. And I'm crazy. So um, again, with that, I just wanted to share with you that really fun story about um, that door-to-door -door salesperson. Just blew me away with like the script that she literally memorized and, and just kind of spit out at me. So anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you for the views and the likes and the subscribes. And um, Arthur and I are going to work on studying how to sell books. And um, maybe I'll bring Arthur out and we can sell a couple books to you guys. So anyways, have a great day and we will uh, chat with you soon. Bye.